So welcome back guys, today I'm here to discuss some buffs that I would like to see for my strongest character Feng Wei to make him a little bit more competitive. I already think that he is viable, uh, he's a viable character uh, in online settings and to some extent in tournament settings and a good player can make him work but I think the animations are so pretty that you just have to make him a, a, a tad stronger so people start liking him more than characters i think like characters like karzumi for instance or claudio or shaheen to some extent jack are so blind and so like generic but the character like feng wei with his tool set really isn't and i would like to see him more on a tournament setting it just feels like feng tries to play on a second like he's a bodybuilder that tries to succeed natural while everyone around him is on steroids and since season 4 they're like not on 6 week they're on a 6 month uh, steroid dosage so you feel like why the fuck do I have to work standing for my damage if everyone can launch me and carry me to the wall and m make a massacre so uh, we will start to go into the first moves some of them are very very minor, more like quality of life changes but I have two big ones at the end that I really want to emphasize on. The first one is down forward 3 plus 4. Very very long range homing that gives guaranteed damage um, if you're not a scrub like me and can lead to some very nasty Oki situations if the opponent gets up wrong. Um, I think this move is actually um, a necessary evil to some extent because his moves lack range in general now with the new addition of this he has at least one range tool that is a little bit quicker but that's very vulnerable to sidestepping so uh, this tool actually is not so it's good it's very good at high level actually but it's not OP in a sense and together with forward one plus which is actually rather quick for a high homing move that launches on normal hit this is actually decent as a combined together and this hits from really really far so the only thing that I would like is to make it 22 or 21 frames Brian has a very similar move with down forward um, is it down forward 4 I think um, which is 22 moves uh, tw <laughs> 22 frames um, and gives a guaranteed uh, soccer kick afterwards so um, you get flip over Oki. Uh, this also gives good Oki, but at max range it is kind of difficult to get guaranteed Oki. Uh, so I would just like to make it 21 or 22 frames, because most of the times it hits at 24 frames. That would be just a small quality of life change. Uh, the next thing is I would... Um, you know, his hop kick is pretty weak one of the weakest in the game and there is a character very similar to this uh, in which is Armor King Armor King has a very shitty hop kick uh, he has a hop kick like this since Tekken 6 I think um, but he uh, has he got a counter hit property on his up forward 3 which kind of acts like Mardok's up forward 3 but I think it's 19 frames actually and I would like, I know this gives a decent situation where if they get up wrong you can really max out on damage but I would like this to either give a free stomp all the time um, or just make it 2 frames faster make it 19 frames or even make it 19 frames and a guaranteed stomp honestly because now it's pretty useless on block it is actually very interesting because it's only minus 1 or minus 2 so you could change that if you wanted to um, to make it minus 4 or something or minus 5 maybe but um, giving him like a low crush that is not punishable uh, would make his, his, um, his crushing game a little bit better you could argue that he already has a lot of crushes but most of them are very very vulnerable uh, in, the, in some scenarios and he doesn't really have buttons like Dragonos up 4-4 or, or Marduk's up 4-3 or stuff like that and you could really argue a character with that weak of a hop kick could really yeah like 
need something like this. Keep in mind though, I don't want all the changes together. You can pick one of the, <laughs> some of them. The next one is two till the one. Uh, two till the one got buffed to an extent where it's actually a very usable move. Sorry, wrong one. Where it's actually a very usable move. Sorry, wrong one again. Um, because it's hit confirmable. Okay, we will just look at the move. And on block, it's I think minus six. So the hit confirm makes this very, very good and it's a beefy damager. But the problem that I have with it is being 24 frames, you could argue that it's seeable. Good people uh, at higher level will actually see this move. And this really hinders the move and could be fixed by just making it 22 frames. This wouldn't be crazy as a buff because on sidestep you're most likely going to use this more often if you're not afraid of him backdashing because it's faster if you want to mix it up. And um, if you will use it as a whiff punisher, two frames are not that big of a deal. And you could also use this instead for being even once uh, one frame faster and an easier input. But if you make this 22 frames, I think it would be more reliable as a sidestep punish and would be considered better just in the neutral. But we can argue then, of course, it's safe and hit confirmable. Would be pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I think he really needs some steroid stuff. So now we come to three more theoretical one, uh, two more theoretical one on the last buff that I really wish they would give him. So Fangwei really, really struggles with getting opponents into the air. That's why a lot of people rely on Punch Parry because it's actually one of the best launchers for him in, in certain matchups. His hop kick has shitty range. Um, most of his launching tools are rather slow. The best launcher from standing, in my opinion, is down for free, which has no range and has to be forced on the opponent and can only be forced in certain situations because if the opponent is constantly backdashing, this move is very hard to connect on block. No, I'm not even talking about whiffing, I'm talking about getting him to block it. That's why people start to refer to this move because at least it has some more range. But what I really like, like his launch punishment is really, really shitty. Like he cannot even launch punish his own backswing blow. So I think it wouldn't hurt if you just make his shoulder minus 21 or 22 on block, but make it a wall bounce. I know this sounds crazy, but um, make it a wall bounce with not at, like from here, not as close. I think there are certain have wall bounce abilities that are a little bit closer than others. I would give it a wall bounce from around here. So he gets like a big damage on it if your opponent doesn't know the matchup and does a mistake near the wall. I think that is necessary because the shoulder is a very good punish, but it leaves you in a situation where Fang is not ideal in. That is one of the biggest weaknesses of the character in my opinion. Uh, this punisher, if, if you block something that is minus uh, 15, you do this not because of the two points more damage, you do this because it leaves them standing in your face at plus frames. That's what you want. This character is a range zero character with good poking tools and not with good approach tools, so a knockdown is not ideal for us. So you need to give uh, the shoulder something that makes it very, very dangerous and let, uh, let people think about what they do when they're close to the wall. Dragunov has an I-12 wall bounce from while standing. And that's because he doesn't have a hop kick. So even though he is up 4-4, if people abuse lows against him with good timing, his reward is rather weak. But now since he has the wall bounce, it actually fixed the issue with the character, which didn't give him identity. It just made that in higher level of play, it was very, very hard to succeed with him after season um, 3. Maybe even two, but it made it a lot more difficult. You can really see JDCR struggle uh, because of that. Um, the next one, please keep in mind, I don't want all of but the shoulder one would be great. Um, the next one is his jabs are very funky. Like, they have decent range, but what I don't like about them, look at that. If you punish someone with jabs, you want to stay close. You want to utilize your plus frames. And if you have a Feng Wei, that lacks range, it is very annoying punishing someone, being at plus frames, and then when you press this and he backdashes once because he can do that at minus six, you whiff. 
and this whiffs as well. That's, that's a huge problem for him. And the next thing is this. Why does this, I mean, now it looks better, but in reality, oftentimes, if I punish someone in a move, uh, in a game, with 1, 2, 2, they're at range 2 afterwards. Which means I'm plus 5, but I actually cannot use my plus flames, because they can backdash this, they can backdash this, uh, so it, it's not clean hit anymore, and then it doesn't guarantee me anything. They ca I think they can't backdash this, but this doesn't help me. And maybe I could do this, but I don't want to do this. And then I am sitting here doing this shit. I have a character that is, uh, that is designed for backdash pressure. Um, sorry, backturn pressure. And my best tool is backturn down 4. I think that is not what the design should be. I think this should... Um, hit them and leave them at range 1.5 in my face. I can understand that after a 10 frame punish, it's not ideal if he is in perfect range for his sweep. Of course. We just don't think about that he, you have to really get out of your way to do a, a, a launcher from back turn and you really have no tools to cover back dashing only this one and this is 13 frames. So his back turn stance is actually rather weak compared to others. So we can argue about this, make it back to plus three, but leave him closer. But I like it how it is. Actually, it is okay. Just leave them a little bit closer. So they can still backdash the sweep to uh, not clean his range. But at least I can hit them with this on block, please. That's all I want. And the next one is uh, the last one, actually. But this one is very very uh, it's a huge topic for me and it's i think what helps the character back together with the jabs actually the problem with the character is that they designed him to give him a lot of free damage in form of a shoulder the damage is good and the move they come out in uh, for instance this one are very very easy to score counter hits with that's what i really really like about the character and the strings that are uh, have this ability are very very versatile and usable so giving him this gimmick is actually pretty good the problem is since every character carries to the wall and kills you at the wall with one counter hit because most of the things count at launch nowadays giving us damage in the open is fine but wall travel missing is very very hurting for our game plan because Fang Wei is actually one of the best wall games in my opinion but the problem is that he rarely can use it because he doesn't get you into the air into the uh, Oki situation at the wall so you could argue that it would be better uh, to give him some counter properties of some on some of these moves but what I really like um, Fang Wei also has uh, a strength on his Oki game, in my opinion. He has a lot of ground hitting tools that are safe, that are annoying, um, and what so on. I would really like, because you can uh, get in this situation also a stomp. I would like to be this plus two or plus four on a grounded opponent. So if I spike them and they get up wrong, I can shoulder them. Just, this doesn't make the difference so big but leave them closer to me so I get a real Oki situation and for instance if they tech roll and I sidestep with them I could apply a sidestep mix up which is still very risky because if I go for the sweep they can heavily punish me but I get more damage opportunities and I could also do something like this and continue pressure at range zero and what also would uh, in, uh, get infected, not infected, influenced by this is for instance Feng sucks at Forgotten Realm because his stomp just doesn't wall break, uh, floor break for some stupid reason. That means that moves like this uh, should be very, very good on paper on Forgotten Realm, but this doesn't floor break. And this doesn't as well on the, uh, on the ground. And this doesn't as well. And when I look at certain characters like Dragonov or Anna, I think why are they so buff at this stage? Or King, for instance. There are many others, to na you name it. But Fang just really gets nothing straight up nothing and that's just something that i would like give him if you don't want to give him uh counter launches all the way then just make it more versatile make me stomp here and break the floor make me stomp here and get good oki or maybe i could link use my rage and link a rage art into this um 
if I want to spend it, which I don't usually would because uh, I really like the rage drive from him. But if I'm uh, wanted to, if I want to spend it, just make it that this connects and I get my my rage drive. That would be crazy. Devil Jin's down back two into rage drive. That is crazy. And I mean, you don't get it from uh, down two into rage drive, but. If the opponent is so dumb and presses when I have rage, I mean, with this I can do nothing, right? Even if I connect it. Or, or even just make it that this into this uh, carries them to the wall. Like the, the normal, like give it the ability to just let them fly over the screen and hit the wall. Like it does when I hit the airborne. Uh, because I want to get to the wall somehow, please man, for fuck's sake. I know I'm rambling at the end and there is so much information. So please share with me what you think uh, about these changes and what you would like to change for Fangway because I think we are both, uh, we are all together in this. At the highest level, he really needs improvement. He really does because there are so many characters that just do better what he does while taking lesser risk and while being able to punish heavier. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and by the way, make I running 3 minus uh, plus 9 on block, please. Thank you. Goodbye.